everyone, this is Ebony from BlankApparel.com. Have you ever had a problem with your hair blowing in your face on a windy day? Do you find hats uncomfortable and inconvenient? Is there a pile of old shirts in your bedroom just wasting away in the corner? Well, we have a solution for you. Today, I'm going to show you how to make one of these stylish knotted headbands. All you need is a pair of scissors, some fabric glue, measuring tape, and an old shirt. I'm using this tank top because it's a tri-blend and the polyester content makes it stretchy. Pretty much any shirt will do, depending on the size of your noggin. The first thing you're going to do is take your shirt and cut off the bottom hem. Next, you'll cut six strips from the bottom of the shirt about an inch wide. Line your strips up evenly and cut one end of the strips like this. Once you have your strips, you're going to stretch them out like this so that the fabric starts to curl a little bit. Now here's where this DIY gets a bit tricky. Separate three of the strips and lay them out in a loop like this. Then take your other three strips and lay them in a U shape on top. Now we're going to take the bottom left hand side of the loop and pull it up and over the U. Next, take the upper right hand side of the U and slide it under the top of the loop. Then take the upper left hand side of the U and we'll be weaving it over the top part of the headband. Go over the top of the first strand, under the middle strand, over the outside strand of the loop. Now double check that you've made this knot correctly by starting at the bottom left hand side of the loop. It should loop over the first strand, under the second, over again, under again, over, under, over again, and then finally under the final strand like this. If your knot looks like this, we're going to start to slowly tighten the knot by pulling each end individually like this. This is called a sailor's knot. The next thing you have to do is take your measurement around your head. My head measures about 20 inches, so I'm going to lay out my headband and trim the ends to make it 20 inches. I'm cutting the ends evenly so that the knot is in the middle of the headband. But if you want the knot to be off-center, just trim one side shorter than the other. Now you're going to take a couple small scrap pieces of fabric and glue them onto each end of the straps like this. Trim up the excess pieces. Before moving on to the next step, you're going to want to check the measurement of your headband to make sure it fits. If you need to add or take away a bit of length to make it fit, this is your last chance. Now take a square piece of scrap fabric, about 4 inches by 3 inches. Give it a tug to stretch it out, then place it with the edges folded underneath the ends of your headband straps. Add a little more glue to each end of the headband and secure the ends in the middle of the fabric like this. Now put a little more glue on top of the ends and fold the fabric over. Trim away the excess fabric as you go and add more glue wherever it's necessary to make the seam more secure. And that's it! Now you have your very own upcycled knotted headband made from an old shirt. Thanks so much for watching!